This question from Jen, who purchased our Couch to 70.3 program on Training Peaks. She says, hi, Wendy. I'm training for Muncie 70.3 in September. I have questions about running by heart rate and setting training zones. For my lactate threshold test, am I supposed to be running as hard as I can for those 30 minutes? A full sprint? What's the deal, Coach? Well, thank you for approaching our Couch to 70.3 plan. I've done Muncie, Indiana back in the day when it was called Muncie Endurathon. And so I'm very familiar with the course. So definitely reach out to me if you have questions about that specific course. So to first answer your question, um, she's talking about ways to set her training zones as a way to measure the intensity that she plans to train at. The training zones that we have set in our training plans are, are all rate of perceived effort based because rate of perceived effort is a universal way to manage um, and get to know your training intensity versus, you know, heart rate, pace, power. So specifically to her heart rate question, we also suggest doing a um, assessment test. And that could be a, I like to athletes to do a 5k run. Some people might not be up to that test protocol. So we do have various protocols that we suggest within the training plan. Again, it's an assessment. It's just kind of where you're starting the plan with. And it's something to look back on when you do it again to see how you've improved. And so specific to heart rate and a sprint. Again, it's a 30 minute, 20 minute or three mile or one and a half mile protocol. That is not a sprint. When I think of a sprint, I'm thinking 10 to 20 seconds maximal effort. And so I want to make sure she's clear on definitions and meanings. No, you're not going to sprint that assessment test, but you will go as hard as you can based on your current level of fitness. You're not, you're not trying to go as hard as you want to be. You're just doing it where to see where you're at. Right now, you may be a run walker, and so you're going to run and walk that assessment test, and you are going to get a various, you know, you're going to take your heart rate, and that's going to be your suggested lactate threshold heart rate, which is generally a heart rate that you can sustain for about 60 minutes, zone four, rate of perceived effort of eight. So just some little bit more definitions on that. You may not even be wanting to do something that intense right now in the plan. So again, do it get an assessment, log actually how you executed and how you felt, and then use the zones, whether you use continue to use RPE, heart rate, or pace, use them wisely and, and with understanding about what you're trying to get out of it. At any time, since you're listening to this, if you want to get 33% off any of our plans on Trini Peaks, simply go to endurancehour.com forward slash 33%. And fill in your email, and we'll send you a code that you can apply to any one of our programs. You'll get 33% off of those programs on Training Peaks.